What really happened to Jay North? You'll never know. Jay North was born Jay Waverly North on August 3, 1951, in Hollywood, California, U.S. Jay North will forever be remembered for giving TV life to the popular comic strip Hellion Dennis the Menace in 1959. Humanizing this little tornado would not only be his treasure, it would be his torment. With an appearance on the children's program, Cartoon Express, the appearance was meant to be a one-time event, but an agent saw him and contacted his mother. She was initially reluctant but ultimately allowed him to start auditioning for projects. He went on to appear in film and television projects throughout the middle the to late 50s. Jay was born Jay Waverly North Jr. on August 3, 1951, in Los Angeles, and started off on the small screen at age 7 with roles on such series as Wanted, Dead or Alive, 77 Sunset Strip, Sugarfoot and The Defenders. He quickly moved into minor filming as well with featured roles in the western The Miracle of the Hills and the low-budget, exploitation film The Big Operator. With over 500 children auditioning, Jay was selected by Dennis the Menace cartoon creator Hank Ketchum himself for the star-making title role alongside beleaguered parents Herbert Anderson and Gloria Henry and exasperated neighbors Joseph Kearns and Sylvia Field. During this four-season TV peak that filmed 146 episodes, Jay appeared in countless programs as either himself or Dennis on such shows as The Donna Reed Show, The Red Skelton Show, The Hollywood Squares, I've Got a Secret, various talk shows, and even a cameo in the film Pepe. Also, an occasional presence on variety shows hosted by Dinah Shore, Milton Berle, and Tennessee Ernie Ford. He guest starred in episodes of Wagon Train, The Lucy Show, The Man from Uncle and My Three Sons. However, after the cancellation of his own show, the now active teenager noticed a major tapering off. He found himself badly typecast and efforts to forge ahead with film projects and other series work proved difficult. At first, things looked promising. He perpetuated his wholesome image with the family film Zebra in the Kitchen and, more notably, the exotic adventure Maya, which spun off into a wildly popular TV series, but then all offers dried up. He went from top child star to cruelly, discarded teen in only a few short years and had a terrible time adjusting. Despite voicing the popular character Bam Bam in the animated series The Flintstones and Prince Turhan in the Banana Splits Adventure Hour, he would find occasional work in the field. Jay all but disappeared after a co-starring role in the adult-aimed film The Teacher with Sexy Blonde Angel Tompkins. Glimpsed here and there, he appeared on a 70s Lassie series and appeared in the TV movie Scout's Honor, a co-starring role in the sea film Wild Wind and an appearance in Dickie Roberts, former child star as himself. Jay went through years of personal turmoil and emotional anguish before his recovery reportedly abused and mishandled during his peak years by on-set relatives caretakers. Jay has since been instrumental in providing advice and counseling to other professional children teen stars in the same boat and remarried a third time to Cynthia Hackney. From time to time these days, Jay has been glimpsed at nostalgia conventions. Through the reincarnations of life, he received enough of his bitterness. That would probably be better for positive people. Jay North has been married three times, first with Kathleen Lorraine Cooney, followed by Last Rosettia, and now Cynthia Elizabeth Hackney. In 1959, he was cast in the role that would make him a household name for the rest of his life, as Dennis on the live-action series, Dennis the Menace. He gained a massive following almost immediately. His time on the set was difficult as he was being verbally and physically abused by his aunt, who was there to serve as his on-set guardian. He appeared in film, television, and theater projects sporadically until the early 2000s. Jay North, contrary to recent reports, is not dead. But the career of television's one-time Dennis the Menace, well, it's been in critical condition for a long time. I might as well be dead said North, 
who was a child celebrity in the early 1960s while starring on the CBS sitcom. This town, Hollywood, won't give me a job. Right now, though, finding work is secondary. North is just trying to deal with a very weird thing that happened to him last week. There were news reports of his death. Some cook called the wire services and spread a malicious rumor that I had died in a doctor's office, North said. My ex-wife, who lives in Chicago, her father heard it on the radio and they called all upset, North said. And my old friend John Provost, who played Timmy on Lassie, he heard about it and called. It's been awful. North, who is 37, hasn't been seen regularly on television since the 1967 to 1968 season when he starred in the short-lived NBC adventure series Maya. But Dennis the Menace is by far the biggest success in North's show business life. And, yes, North is still coping with the disorienting impact of that early stardom. I never really got the education I should have gotten, he said. You're totally cushioned from reality. You're sheltered on a soundstage. You never see ordinary kids. Because of his sheltered child celebrity status, North said the only young people he got to know very well were other sheltered child celebrities. People like Jerry Mathers and Tony Dow from Leave It to Beaver, Provost of Lassie, Angela Cartwright from The Danny Thomas Show, and Butch Patrick of The Munsters. North said he still occasionally sees Cartwright, who runs a gift shop in Toluca Lake, Caliph, and Provost, who works in real estate and lives in Northern California. In addition to the false reports of his death, North said he has recently been plagued by a couple of J. North imposters. One of these guys has been running around Los Angeles actually representing himself as me, renting limos and making appearances, North said. I am not on the A-party list. I am not a hot item. So they don't know what I look like. I really haven't worked a lot in a long time. North said he has made ends meet with investments and with work in the health food industry. But I am certainly not a multi-millionaire. Dennis the Menace didn't make me rich. Jay North is an American actor who has a net worth of $500,000.